In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called add two numbers. So we're given two non-negative linked lists uh, representing two non-negative integers. So the digits are stored in reverse order and such that each node contains a digit uh, that are less than 10. And uh, add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. So you might assume that the two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number of zero itself. So you can see here we have an example of uh, 340, th uh, 342 plus 465, it will give us the sum of 807, right? So in this case, we're given a reverse order of linked list, right? So we wanna make sure we start from the head, go our way to the end, to the tail node, and basically we're getting the sum, right? So in this case, the sum is 807. And in this case, we have a two empty linked list, or I should say we have a list node uh, list one and list two has a node of zero. So zero plus zero in this case is gonna be zero, right? So let's say we have a carryover like this. Then what we're gonna do is we could definitely going to need a, um, a variable, right? A counter or a carryover uh, variable that keep track of like um, how the carryover number, right? In this case, we have two plus five, which is seven. Then we move the, uh, what's gonna happen is we're gonna move the left pointer or L1 points to here, the L2 points to here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, basically have the sum, which is gonna be four plus six, because the previous iteration, we don't have any um, carryover, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're just going to get the sum, which is gonna be 10. We know 10 is bigger than nine, so we're just gonna get the, um, the last digit. In this case, 10 has a last digit of zero, so, right? So in this case, we're just gonna get 10 modulo of 10, which give us zero, right? So in this case, we're gonna have zero for this node. So we create a node, we insert this value onto it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna increment the carry over by one because we have a sum that's bigger than nine. So then for the next iteration, we're gonna get the left, uh, the L1 points here, L2 points here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the sum, in this case is seven, seven plus the carry over that we had. And then we're gonna make sure we get this the, the sum is equal to eight, right? So in this case, every time when we um, add the carryover, we wanna make sure we reset the carryover to zero so that when we, um, so that we can be able to check to see if the current number is over 10, uh, over nine. If it is, then we're gonna basically make carryover uh, equal to one, right? So in this case, um, we, let's say we have a carryover like this. Let's say we have uh, something example like nine, uh, like nine, 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 and let's say we have one nine here, right? So same thing here, right? Let's say we, we start from here and here. Basically to start, we're gonna create a uh, dummy node. And this dummy node basically um, is there to keep track of the head node, right? Of our, um, of our result uh, sum. Right, so we have a, the dummy node. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a previous pointer that points to dummy, and then we're gonna get a sum. In this case, nine plus nine is gonna be 18. So we're gonna get the last digit, which is eight. We know this is, there's a carryover, so we're gonna get carryover, right, now equal to one. So in this case, if it equals to one, then for the next iteration, in this case, we have a nine plus a zero right, because in this case, there's an empty spot there. So we're gonna have a zero. Um, in this case, this, this, this node right here is null. So we're gonna have a zero, nine plus zero plus the carryovers, now we have 10. So we're gonna take the last digit, in this case, zero, and then we're gonna set the carryover still set to one. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to next iteration. And now we have this node plus this node, this node is, is a null. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get nine plus zero plus the carryover, which is 10. So now we have get the last digit and insert it to that node and make sure every iteration, we wanna make sure we get the previous node points to the current node, right? Previous node points to the current node or the previous pointer points to the current node. And at the end, if we have a situation where L1 and L2, they're both equal to null, then what we're gonna do is that we check to see if they're still carryover. In this case, we do. Then we're gonna create a node and then we're gonna get the previous pointer points to the current node and the current node value is gonna to equal to one because the carryover is equal to one, 
So now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. The same thing what I just talked about. We create a dummy node and we create a previous pointer points to the dummy node. And the carryover is going to be zero. So while L1 and L2 is not is not empty, right? We're just going to um, basically set their value, right? So we have V1, which is if L1 does not equal null, we're going to set V1 equal to L1 dot value. Otherwise, it's going to be zero. And same thing for V2. Then we're going to get the sum, which is equal to the, uh, in this case, the, the, the L1 node dot value uh, or the V1 plus V2, right? Plus the carryover. And then that will give us a sum. And every time when we use the carryover, we want to make sure we reset the carryover. Then we're going to check to see if the current sum is actually bigger than nine. If it is, we're going to set the current uh, current carryover is equal to one, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to create the node. The current node is going to be the sum modulo of 10, which we're basically going to take the last digit. Because let's say we have like nine, right? Which is not bigger than nine. Nine modulo of 10 is still going to be nine, right? So in this case, we're just going to take the last digit uh, no matter what. So once we get at the current node, we're just going to get the previous pointer dot nest points to the current node. So the previous dot nest points to the current node. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the previous pointer points to the current node, right? Because let's say we have dummy, right? So dummy right here, we have the current sum for this node, let's say it's seven. We're going to get, because we already got the current node uh, for this position, we're going to get the previous pointer, which is dummy, points to this node and then we're going to set the previous pointer instead of pointing here we're going to get the previous pointer points to here so that we're going to uh, move on to the next uh, iteration and then we're going to use the previous pointer points to the new node that we got right so then we also have to shift the left l1 and l2 right the node one to the right as well but there could be a situation where one of them is null so we want to make sure that if it's null we're going to continue to set null if it's not null we're going to set to uh, we're going to get this current node points to the next node. And basically the breakpoint is that if one of them or all of them, right, if L1 and L2 are all null, then what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's a carry over. If there's a carry over, we're going to create a node. Current is equal to list no uh, new list node with a value of one. Then we're going to get the previous dot nest is equal to current. So in this case, we are going to return at the end, we're going to return dot me dot nest, which is basically the head node of the sum, okay? So pretty simple. Uh, the time complexity in this case is gonna be big O of, um, big O of the maximum length or the maximum nodes in M or N, right? Because in this case, M and N or L1 and L2 has a different length. So in this case, we wanna make sure we get the maximum, um, yeah, the maximum uh, length for the node. So in this case, the, the time complexity in this case is going to be a big O of maximum length or the maximum nodes that we have in list one or list two. Okay. So that's it for this video and thank you for watching.